Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace website designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are going to be talking about how to remove spacing from anywhere on your Squarespace site. And the same strategy can actually be used to add space as well. So we're going to look at what is creating that space and how to either remove it or add more. Before we jump in, if you do not have a firm grasp on the basic CSS structure, I encourage you to learn about that first. I provided a link in the description below this video um, for you to go over to that video and watch that video first where I show you the basic CSS structure and how to target elements based on their class names and IDs. Once you have a firm grasp of those basics, then come back to this video. Um, otherwise, you may find it really tricky to follow this tutorial if you don't have a basic understanding of classes and IDs. In CSS, there is two types of spacing um, that probably makes up about 99% of the spacing around your site. Um, so most of the time that you are trying to add or remove spacing, you're working with one of these two scenarios. You're either trying to add or remove margin or you're trying to add or remove padding. So I have a little um, diagram down here to help explain the difference between padding and margin. It's very easy to get them mixed up. But if we go down here, you'll see this text block that I have, and I've colored it gray so you can see where the block is taking up space. So if we think of this whole gray section as one box, and inside of that box is two other boxes. There's a heading and a paragraph box. Okay? And each of those I've put a border around. So you can see the gray area has a red border, and the heading and paragraph have a green border. If you are trying to add or remove spacing between the content and its border, that is padding. If you are trying to add or remove spacing from outside of its border, that is margin. So if I just go into design custom CSS here, this block ID, this is referring to that whole gray section. So if I add padding, you'll see that a whole bunch of space has now been added between the content inside of that box and the red border. Right? If I change it to margin, you're probably not gonna really see anything happen because it's now happening outside of that border and there's nothing kind of pushing outside that border anyway. So the space is now out here rather than in between here. Okay? And I can demonstrate that on these blocks as well. Um, so I have a heading and a paragraph and if I add padding, you'll see that now there's lots of space between the text and its green border. But if I was to change that to margin, it would add the space outside of the green border, which would look very similar to adding padding inside of the red. So if it's on this element, and I want spacing outside of the border, it's margin. If I want it inside the border, it is padding. And there's different ways through CSS or different reasons we'd want to use margin versus padding, etc. But what you need to figure out is what you're dealing with, the space you're dealing with, is that padding or margin? How do we figure that out? The easiest way to figure that out is to hover over top the section that you are trying to figure out the spacing for. Um, I am working in Chrome right now and I have developer tools turned on and I'm just going to right click and select inspect and it will bring up this box down here which looks pretty scary but it's not as scary as it looks. This is the HTML, it tells us what the content is and this box over here is the CSS, it tells it how we want that content to be styled. So if I hover over top the different blocks you'll see orange and green come up, okay? Orange is margin and green is padding. So let's say I wanted to remove some spacing between these two, I wanted them closer together. I would hover over top of this or this, right click and select inspect, and then I'm just gonna hover over top these different blocks until I see green or orange where I want to add or remove spacing. So here I could either remove margin from the heading one 
or margin from the P. It doesn't really matter, they kind of hover over top of each other there. So if I want to remove the spacing here, I can put heading one, as it's a, a heading one here. And I'm gonna put margin. The margin is on the bottom and I'm gonna make it zero and you'll see it come up. Now this will apply to all heading ones across the site, which you might not want. So if you want to apply the code to a specific block, a specific block of text, for example, or a specific image block, then in Squarespace, we use a block ID. And I have this Squarespace collection block identifier, a Chrome extension that I like to use. And if I just click on it, it will bring up the ID for this particular block. And I'm just gonna put it right here in front of my heading one. So I want to target only the heading one inside of this particular block. Okay. And so if I was to look at other heading ones on the site, there wouldn't, they would still have their margin on the bottom. Okay. And you could do this for any block around your site. So let's see, maybe I want to remove the spacing between these. I'm going to hover over top of this, right click and select inspect. And then I'm just going to keep going around these and you'll notice that none of these are popping up. So maybe it's actually the text below. So let's go down here. I might have to open different things up. So sometimes you have to click on these little triangles in order to open them up. And now I can see the orange there. So you wanna just keep a kind of opening and opening until you find the color and in this case it is orange. So again, if I want to apply it just to this block, I am going to use my block ID. In this case, it's this one here. And then I can't just use the block ID because that's for that whole image block. I know that it's on this particular section and that's where the orange is. So I'm gonna take this class name and with class names, we use a period class name and it was orange. So I'm going to use margin top zero, right? Or you don't have to use zero. You can use, you know, one VW or two VW. If you just want to shrink it a little bit, um, you can use whatever uh, number you like. I like to use VW because that is a percentage of the viewing width. And so it will be responsive to screen sizes, um, where if you just use a pixel or something like that, then it's gonna be that same size on all different screen sizes. So using VW helps make your site more mobile friendly. Let's do one more, but let's see if we can find a padding. So maybe on my button, I don't want it quite as tall. Um, I'm okay with the spacing between here and here, but I don't want it quite as tall. So again, I'm gonna hover over top, right click and select inspect and it will bring up that button and you'll notice that I have some padding on this link inside of the button. So I want to apply this to all buttons of this type. So I'm going to look through and see what classes I can use to apply this and I can use Squarespace button element primary. If I just use A it'll apply to all links on the site. We don't want that. We only want it on our Squarespace button element. So it's a class. I'm going to use period. And then I'm going to set it padding on the top. Let's try one VW. If I don't see it apply, I'm going to use the important tag in this case, but we only want to use that if it's not applying. And I want to change the padding on the bottom also. Maybe I want a little less than that. Let's try 0 0.8. So essentially what you are doing is you're going to hover over top the section that you want to change the spacing of, right click and select inspect. Then you are going to hover over the different elements to find which element has the green or orange in that space. And remember, if it's orange, it is margin. If it's green, it is padding. 
The hardest part is choosing the selector that is going to target that element. So you can use the class of that element. But remember, if you use a class, then it's going to apply to more than one element. Um, so if you only want it to apply to that particular element, you need to use an ID. So you're going to add the block ID before the class that you've used so that it will only target elements with that class inside of that particular block. Now, what if I want to apply that spacing only on mobile? Maybe I only want to remove the spacing on mobile. In that case, you're going to use the exact same code that you used on desktop, but you're going to add a media query. So if I wanted this spacing to only apply on mobile, then I am going to use at media only screen and max width 640 pixels. So what that means is I only want to apply this code to screens that have up to 640 pixels wide. Okay. And I'm going to put it around my code. So this code is inside of my media query. You'll see that the padding has now returned to the block. But if I go to mobile, it's back to being nice and small and skinny. Okay, so it's the exact same code. You're just going to wrap it in a media query. And opposite, if I only wanted it apply to desktop, then I could say minimum width 640. So I only want it to apply to screens that are our smallest screen is 640. So any screen bigger than 640, you'll notice the padding is back on that button. But in the desktop view, it is then removed again. If you've liked this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or if you are on my blog, make sure you sign up for the freebie in the footer so you can be notified when another tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you add or remove spacing anywhere on your Squarespace website.